Hello students, this is Dhanak Kumar. Now I am going to discuss about problems in probability topic. In earlier session, we discussed about few models in probability. Now we'll see few more models in probability chapter. Okay. Now let us coming to that first question. See here, the probability of hitting a target by three marksmen A, B, C are one by two, one by three, and one by four respectively. Find the probability that one and only one of them will hit the target when they fire simultaneously. Question understood. Probability of hitting a target by A, B, C are given. Right. Okay. Now let us see here. Probability of hitting a target by a, I am taking like this, P of A. Is equal to 1 by 2. Hitting the target by B, P of B. Is equal to, P of B is what? 1 by 3. Next, P of C is equal to 1 by 4. Okay. Right. Now here, hitting the target by A, 1 by 2, by B, 1 by 3, by C, 1 by 4. A hits the target is given. But A misses that one, missing that target. That is denoted by what? Complement. Okay. P of A complement. How to find P of A complement? P of A complement formula is 1 minus P of A. So that is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2. So that is equal to what? 1 by 2. Similarly, B complement. P of B complement is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3. That is equal to 3 ones are 3. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 by 3. Next, P of C complement is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4. That is equal to how much? 4 minus 1, 3. 3 by 4. Okay, fine. What about our question? Actually find what? Probability of probability of probability that one and only one of them will hit the target when they fight simultaneously. You observe that one here A, B, C are independent or not? Right, because in simultaneously, fine. A, B, C are what? Independent. Now, according to independent formula, see your first independent formula I am writing, P of A intersection B. Formula is what? P of A into P of B. Okay. And one more point here, not only for two events, even for three events or four events also same format only. If A and B are independent and their complements also independent means P of say for example A complement intersection B is equal to what P of A complement into P of B format to say right. So our property is what? If A and B are independent, then A complement and B also independent. Next point, A and B complement also independent. Next point, A complement and B complement also independent. Clear? So, independent property is what? P of A into P of B. Separately write down. Okay? Now, 
here calculate what let us see next slide i am writing actually find p of exactly exactly one of them exactly one of them hitting the target hitting the target exactly one of them only so that is equal to means what suppose a is hitting a hitting b and c missing understood a hitting means b c missing b hitting means a c missing because exactly one correct or not so that is equal to this can be written as p of a hitting a hitting b c missing b comma c missing right plus similarly okay here i am writing b hitting b hitting a c missing a c missing plus next time c hitting remaining a b missing because our condition is what exactly one of them exactly one of them that is why i wrote like this so that is equal to this can be written as in notations you see here a hitting so a b c missing missing means what complement so that is a intersection b complement intersection c complement plus a missing so a complement b hitting intersection b c missing so intersection c complement here third case a b missing so a complement intersection b complement intersection c first case a hitting second case b hitting third case c hitting so here what what about our condition a b c are independent according to independent property this can be written as what separately so that is p of a into p of b complement into p of c complement plus similarly here also same a complement intersection b intersection c complement plus here also same p of a complement into p of b complement into p of c so that is equal to now after that is value substitute what is the value of p of a you see here p of a 1 by 2 p of a 1 by 2 okay see for our convenience here i am writing hitting 1 by 2 conditions 1 by 3 1 by 4 okay 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 complements 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 3 means 2 by 3 here 3 by 4 correct or not you check it if you want 1 by 2 Two by three, three by four. Now you substitute values. B complement. This is for A, B, C, A dash, B dash, C dash. So B complement is two by three. C complement three by four. Plus A complement. A complement is what? One by two. B is one by three. C complement three by four plus A complement one by two. 
B complement two by three, C one by four. You check it one by two, two by three, three by four. Okay, one by two, B one by three, complement C complement three by four. Next, one by two, two by three, one by four. Right. Now here simplification. You cross check it. Simplification that is equal to LCM. You see four three z twelve twelve two z twenty four. LCM twenty four. Numerator three two z six. Here also same twenty four. So three plus two. So that is equal to how much? Eleven by twenty four. Eleven by twenty four. Understood? Right. Let us coming to next one more question. You observe this one. One important model. In an entrance test, there are multiple choice questions, MCQ type question. There are four possible answers to each question, like option A, option B, option C, option D. Four options are there. Of which one is correct? Single answer type. Fine. The probability that a student knows the answer to a question is ninety percent. Good student. Probability that student knows the answer to a question is ninety percent. Fine. If he gets the answer to a question, then find the probability that he was guessing. Question understood. Hmm. Here actually one question is there. Multiple choice questions. Okay, just you see. Multiple choice question. Here, two ways are given. One is if he knows the answer, it is fine. Otherwise, what he will do by guessing. He knows the answer, and this is by guessing. At the last, anyhow, at the last answer is correct only. Now here, find the. Observe this one. If he gets the correct answer to a question, find the probability that he was guessing reverse. Correct or not? First we are coming from here to here, and then here. Now after that here reverse. So at that time you apply here any or more than one possibility. Apply which concept? Bayes theorem. Inverse probability. One more name. Bayes theorem concept. Okay. I think even in board exam point of view also Bayes theorem models are very very important. In probability main important question is what Bayes theorem concept, right? Okay, let us coming to first here for our convenience I am defining some three letters. First letter A one. A one means. Here I am taking. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. He knows the answer. Next A two. Second means what here? A two means what? Guessing means he does not knows the answer. He does not know the answer. Fine. Next E. One more event I am taking E. E means what here? Condition gets the correct answer. So he gets the correct answer. He gets the correct answer. Fine. One by one. First, you see here P of A one. A one means what? Here our assumption. He knows the answer. You observe that given question. Probability that he knows the answer. Here you see. Probability that students knows the answer to a question is ninety percent. 
per cent. Cent means what? 100. So, 90 percent means 90 by 100. 90 by 100. 90 by 100 means 0, 0 cancel. 9 by 10. Okay. So, knows the answer probability is what? 9 by 10. And what about uh, A2? A2 means what? He doesn't know the answer. So, after that he doesn't know the answer means what? He knows the answer 9 by 10. Doesn't know the answer means total probability minus he knows the answer. Correct or not? That is what complement only. Complement how to find out? 1 minus 9 by 10. So, LCM is 10. 10 ones are 10. 10 minus 9, 1. So, P of A2 is equal to 1 by 10. Fine. Next, coming to P of Observe this one. Conditional probability. Here, E means what? E means our assumption, you see. He gets the correct answer. He gets the correct answer in two ways. One is, if he knows the answer. Second one, by guessing. Correct now? If he knows the answer and he gets the correct answer. Correct or not? Right. If he knows the answer, he knows answer, that option is correct. That option is correct. So, here you observe this one. Total two events. One event already happened. Now, here probability of finding second event. What are that event? He knows the answer. First happening event is what? He knows. In conditional probability, first happening event write down in denominator. Denominator, right? First happening event is what? He knows the answer. So, that is A1. Write down in denominator. If he knows the answer, say for example, second option correct. He knows. Right? He knows second option correct. Second happening event is what? That option. Correct answer. So, correct answer here. Event is what? Assumption E. So, P of E given A1. So, he knows that option is correct. Obviously, answer is what? 1. Fine. How? How means what? Here, correct option means he knows that option is exactly correct. Right? So, obviously, possibility means what? Correct answer 1 only. Next, second one. He doesn't know the answer. What he will do? By guessing only. Okay? So, by guessing. Observe this one here. Total 4 options are there. So, total how many options? 4 options. That is why I am writing here by 4. Out of 4, 1 option correct. Okay? Because here uh, single option correct questions only. Out of 4, 1 option correct. So, favorable cases will be 1. So, P of E given A2 is what? 1 by 4. Fine. Next, what I told? He corrects, he gets the correct answer. He gets the correct answer by Either possibility he knows or by guessing. Means here first happening event is what? Correct answer. Correct answer assumption is what? E. By guessing. So second happening event is what? Guessing. That is A2. So here calculate what? P of P of A2 by E1. E. So calculate A2 given E. That is our question. Right. So what about Bayes theorem formula? Bayes theorem formula also you don't blindly by heart E given A given something something like in NCRT book it is there. So blindly by don't by heart that one. See one simple trick. P of whatever numerator letter is there that letter you write here. That is what P of A2. into into reverse right reverse p of e given a2 understand my point whole divided by here actually only two events a1 a2 correct now so here denominator write on first in place of a2 you write a1 
so p of a1 into p of e given a1 plus next as it is a2 part right p of a2 into p of e given a2 understood fine now substitute values p of a2 means what 1 by 10 e given a2 1 by 4 by p of a1 a1 is 9 by 10 e given a1 1 plus 1 by 10 into 1 by 4 so that is equal to what simplification 1 by 10 4 is a 40 denominator lcm is 40 lcm 40 10 4 is a 4 9 is a 36 plus 1 40 40 cancel so that is equal to what 1 by 37 that is the final answer Bayes theorem is very very important method in probability chapter formula also no need to blindly by heart just calculated part if you are writing correct then this formula we can easily write how what I told numerator letter first you write down after that reverse write down by only two events a1 a2 so first in place of a2 a1 write down and next after that a2 write down then substitute values simplified problem is over understood right let us coming to next one more question see here die die contains how many faces six what are those faces die contains six faces those are all one two three four five six okay right a die is thrown four times how many times four times let us say n is equal to four times number of times i am assuming some n okay find the probability of getting at most two six at most two six okay question clear question understood or not right see first let us say just before solving that question just simply small letter p that indicates probability of getting number six okay so die contains how many faces six faces so denominator six six only one time is there so one by six q p means probability of getting number six q means not getting so not getting six means remaining how many possibilities five possibilities total six okay fine let us coming to this word at most here two types of words are there at least at most let us say for example at least 10 rupees at least 10 rupees means minimum 10 rupees so minimum 10 rupees means what 10 or more than 10 understood right at most 5 rupees at most 5 rupees means what 5 rupees or less than 5 rupees so means maximum 5 rupees at most 5 rupees means maximum 5 rupees okay right here question at most to 6 at most to 2 means what maximum 2 maximum 2 means here calculate p of p of x is equal to 0 0 times 6 suppose 1 times 6 happens x is equal to 1 2 times 6 exists x is equal to 2 that's it because at most 2 6 means what maximum 2 6 2 6 or 1 6 or 0 6 when a die is thrown how many times 4 times out of 4 times 
out of four times at most two six means maximum two six that is two six or otherwise one six or otherwise zero six fine so here here any idea to simplify this one right one formula is there what is that method Bernoulli's distribution binomial distribution in earlier session we discussed about binomial concept proof also I explained okay let us go through that one previous top sessions now here I am writing formula p of x is equal to r in the expansion of q plus p whole power n binomial so here you write general term formula let us say n c r first element power difference that is n minus r second element power r and here p indicates probability of success q indicates failure fine and total probability that is p plus q value is 1 p plus q value is 1 okay now let us come into this question p of x is equal to 0 compare these two r is equal to what 0 so here in this formula r is equal to 0 substitute what will happen formula it reduces to 4 c naught q q means 5 by 6 whole power 4 into P, P means 1 by 6 power 0 okay now let us coming to next x is equal to 1 r is equal to 1 substitute here 4 c 1 into 5 by 6 power n minus r that is 4 minus 1 3 into 1 by 6 let us coming to next part 4 c 2 into 5 by 6 power 4 minus 2 2 into p p is 1 by 6 1 by 6 power 2 okay now simplification here you see 4 c naught value is 1 1 by 6 power 0 1 so remaining 5 power 4 by 6 power 4 fine plus 4c1 4c1 is 4 into 5 cube by 6 cube into 6 6 power 4 plus 4c2 4c2 value is what 4 into 3 by 2 2 2 is a 2 3 is a 6 so 6 into 5 square by 6 square into 6 square 6 power 4 okay so that is equal to here you observe this one common term is what 5 square by 6 square common and remaining will be what 5 square by 6 square common right remaining part will be one remaining two more fives are there so that is 5 square 25 6 square 36 plus here also 5 square by 6 square common. A remaining how much left here? 5. Right. 5 4 is 20 by 6 square 36. Here 5 square by 6 square common. Remaining will be 6 by 36. Okay. LCM 5 square 25. 25 by 36 into LCM 36. Numerator 25 plus 20, 45. Right. 45 plus 6, 51. Now you simplify this one. 3, how many times cancellation possible? 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are. Here, 3 ones are. Remaining 2, 1, 21, 3 sevens are. Right. After that, next simplification you see here 25. Okay, is there any possibility? No. So, direct multiplication only. 25 into 17. Multiply this one. 17. Okay, 25 into 17. 
सेवेंटीन फाइव जा एटी फाइव राइट सेवेंटीन टू जा थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर प्लस एट फोर्टी टू सो फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई थर्टी सिक्स इंटू ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व सिक्स जा सेवेंटी टू ट्वेल्व थ्री जा थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स प्लस सेवेन फोर्टी थ्री सो दैट इज डिनोमिनेटर पार्ट फोर थर्टी टू सो फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय फोर थर्टी टू सो दैट इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली सम पॉइंट नाइन समथिंग इट विल कम ओके दैट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन राइट लेट एस कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट वन मोर क्वेश्चन simple question you observe this one using conditional probability using conditional probability question just you see here one ticket is selected at random from 100 tickets numbered 00 01 02 up to 99 okay here possibilities you see 00 01 Zero two, so on, up to ninety-nine. Okay, how many numbers are there here? Hundred numbers. So hundred tickets are there. Fine. Suppose A and B are sum and product of the digits found on the ticket. Means A is what sum. Sum of the digits on the ticket, okay, and B means what product? B means product. Product of digits on the ticket means what? Your meaning understood? Suppose let us say, for example, if you are taking one number eighty-five, A means what? Sum of the digits on the ticket. Sum of the digits means eight plus five. How much? Thirty. So a value thirty. And b means what? Product of the digits on the ticket. Eight five is a forty. That is the meaning of this one. Okay. Now let us coming to calculate what actually p of a is equal to seven slash b is equal to zero. Means what? A given b. A given b. So First, I am writing formula. Later, we'll see remaining part. P of a is equal to seven, given that b is equal to zero. What is the formula for conditional probability? P of a intersection b. So that is a is equal to seven intersection b is equal to zero by By p of b is equal to zero. Okay, denominator part right here. Fine. Generally, probability formula is what number of favorable cases by total number of cases. Correct or not? So that is equal to this can be written as n of a is equal to seven intersection. Intersection B is equal to zero by total number of cases. That is n of s. That is hundred here. By n of B is equal to zero by n of s. So n of s, n of s cancel. So given problem value will be what reduces to n of A is equal to seven. Intersection B is equal to zero by n of B is equal to zero. So if you are finding these two values, problem is over. I think very easy question. Correct or not? Now let us coming to first possibilities. I am writing a is equal to seven. A is equal to seven means what? Some seven. Some seven. Okay. Possibilities here I am writing. Possibilities. See, sum of the two, sum of the digits found on the ticket is equal to seven. Here number starts with zero, ends with ninety nine. So possibilities sum seven. What are that possibilities here? General question only zero seven. Zero plus seven is what seven only. 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन सिक्स वन प्लस सिक्स सेवन ऑन नेक्स्ट टू फाइव नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर फोर थ्री उल्टा फाइव टू सिक्स वन सेवन जीरो इज देर एनी अदर पॉसिबिलिटी नो नेक्स्ट लेट एस कमिंग टू बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो b is equal to zero means what product zero product zero possibilities product of the digits found on the ticket is equal to zero very easy zero 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 one zero two so on up to zero nine next zero nine next one zero Two zero, three zero, up to ninety. Okay, product answer zero means what? One digit, at least one digit must be zero. So that's why easily I wrote this one. Fine. Next here, a is equal to seven. Intersection b is equal to zero. Possibility I am writing. A is equal to seven. B is equal to zero. You easily you observe this one. If you are taking zero seven, product is what zero only. So zero seven. Next here there is no zero. Next seven zero. That's it. How many possibilities we got? Two. Now let us coming to this question. Therefore, actually find what A is equal to seven intersection. B is equal to zero. By n of b is equal to zero. So that is equal to intersection part contains how many elements? Two. So two by n of b is equal to zero. Product zero. How many possibilities? You check it. One zero two zero total here nine. Here total. Here two here nine nine plus nine eighteen eighteen plus one nineteen so total nineteen possibilities here therefore required probability answer is two by nineteen understood right now let us coming to next one more question see here p of b is equal to three by four next p of A intersection B intersection C complement one by three. A complement intersection B intersection C complement one by three. Then find P of B intersection C. These are the four options. Okay. So here these type of questions are there. No need to buy hard any formula. Better you go for Venn diagram concept. Okay. Using that diagram. we can easily find this question answer understood no need to remember a union b union c intersection something something no need just you draw that venn diagram using that venn diagram you plot that one you identify that uh, given values part and then you find out whatever you want right let us see first a circle this is b This is C. Okay, universal set. Okay, this is A, B, C. This is for what? Come on to all three circles. That is A intersection, B intersection, C. Okay, fine. Now here calculate what actually P of B intersection C, B C combination that is this one. So this area we want. This area we want. You find out using that this area we want. You find this area using given conditions. Fine. Okay. P of B three by four. Complete B circle area three by four. Fine. Here A intersection B. A intersection B means this part. 
okay in this part c also included this portion but here a intersection b intersection c complement so a intersection b total this one here c, this portion means c also included this portion c not included so here a intersection b intersection c complement means this portion this area is 1 by 3 next let us coming to this one a complement means you delete a circuit c complement you delete c circuit intersection b okay actually b circle this one generally in this portion you delete complete a finish and also you delete complete c remaining portion will be what this one this area is what 1 by 3 understood fine now you observe this one we know that complete b circle we know this portion this portion we want this one obviously how to find this one required portion is equal to total area minus sum of these two correct or not right so here i am writing that one see p of b intersection c is equal to total area that is p of b circle minus sum of these two so that is p of a intersection b intersection c complement plus a complement intersection b intersection c complement so that is equal to what you see p of b 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 so that is equal to what here lcm is 12 4 3 is 12 4 3 is 3 3 is 9 3 4 is 4 2 is 8 so 9 minus 8 1 1 by 12 okay so 1 by 12 which option correct first option correct so using Venn diagram we can easily find out no need to buy hard this formula understood so just using that given conditions you shade that one what are that what you have to calculate and what are that conditions given if you understood then we can easily write this formula and simplification part very easy clear right let us coming to next one more question now you observe this one a player x has biased coin whose probability of showing heads is p and a player y has a fair coin generally you understood that word coin is there suppose one rupee coin is there one rupee coin if you observe that coin one side head another side tail so one side head another side tail means that is called fair coin that is unbiased coin no cheating okay fair coin means one side head second side tail fair coin unbiased coin both are same only biased coin okay cheating now difference clear fair coin means one side head one side tail biased means not like now they start playing a game here they start playing a game with their own coins and play alternately play alternately means suppose suppose uh, you observe this one if you uh, x toss a coin something head or tail it will come after that y next x next y because condition is what alternately alternately fine if x starts the game so first x person toss that game toss a coin and the probability of winning the game by both players are equal then the value of p is dash probability of winning the game by 
both players equal then the value of p here you observe this one one small point okay first x starts the game it toss a coin next y because alternately and again x y like that how many times he has to toss no it is not mentioned here 10 times or 5 times or 20 times like that it is mentioned in that question you observe that one it is not mentioned not mentioned means how many times we don't know means you have to consider it as infinite number of times infinite number of times point understood right so x and y toss a coin how many times here infinite number of time okay now first uh, coming to x person okay p of x getting head getting head okay so this is what bias said okay so a first line you observe that one a player x has a biased coin whose probability of showing head showing head is what p so that's why i'm writing here p not getting head obviously complement only na? x not getting head Okay, not getting head means what complement. So that is how to write this one 1 minus getting head 1 minus p. Similarly, coming to y, y getting head. Getting head is equal to y has a fair coin. Okay, fair coin means what I told one side head, second side tail. So, if your coin is tossed, probability of getting head is equal to what? 1 by 2 because only 2 faces and getting head means only 1. So, 1 by 2. Why not getting head? Not getting head. Obviously, answer will be what? 1 minus 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2 means what? 1 by 2. Right. So, first let us coming to x starts the game. See next slide. P of x wins. Here any of conditions you observe that one. Who starts that game? x. x starts the game. And here we are calculating x wins. x win. Okay. Suppose, just you see one more point. Probability of winning game by both are equal than the value of p. Fine. Suppose, if, okay, if x toss a coin, now head appears. Then problem is over. Because, Okay, X starts the game. That is why I am writing starts with X only. X toss a coin. Suppose head appears, then problem is over. Fine. So, X getting head P. Plus, X is, okay, next, X toss a coin. X toss a coin. Head does not appear. Means what? X not getting head. Not getting head means what? 1 minus P. Automatically, that chance it will goes to Y. Chance will goes to Y. And again, Y toss a coin. Y toss a coin. Okay. Suppose, after tossing coin, after tossing coin, head appears, then Y will win. Head appears, Y will win. Correct or not? Who Whoever may be X or Y, after tossing a coin, if head appears, that person will win. That person will win. So, if Y toss a coin, head appears, automatically Y will win. But here our question X wins. 
नेक्स्ट अगेन दैट चांस इट विल कम टू एक्स व्हेन वाइ फेल्स फेल्स मींस व्हाट व्हाइ नॉट गेटिंग हेड ओके नॉट फॉर व्हाइ गेटिंग हेड नॉट गेटिंग हेड प्रोबेबिलिटी आंसर सेम वन बाय टू ओनली सो आई एम राइटिंग ये वन बाय टू सो फर्स्ट केस एक्स व्हाइ बोथ फेल्स फेल्स मींस व्हाट हेड डज नॉट अपीयर्स द नेक्स्ट सेकंड राउंड अगेन एक्स इन सेकंड राउंड एक्स टॉस ये कॉइन हेड अपीयर्स देन प्रॉब्लम इज ओवर मींस व्हाट पी ओके मींस हियर एक्स विल विन इन द सेकंड राउंड नेक्स्ट एक्स विल विन इन द थर्ड राउंड थर्ड राउंड मींस व्हाट फर्स्ट टू राउंड्स फेल्स फर्स्ट टू राउंड फेल्स मींस फर्स्ट राउंड एक्स आल्सो विल फेल 1 minus p y also fail 1 by 2 again second round also fail 1 minus p y also fail third round x will be so that is p like that how many rounds means we don't know infinite number of times okay so here logic simple logic behind this question you observe that one first time calculating x wins next to y wins we'll see here x wins in the first round okay next second round next third round fourth round fifth round so on how many rounds we don't know so infinite so that is equal to simplification here you see p p plus i think you observe this one total p common here okay p common total remaining 1 plus 1 minus p by 2 plus 1 minus p into 1 minus p 1 minus p whole square by 2 into 2 2 square so that is 1 minus p by 2 whole square plus so on so here sum you find out how many times here infinite times in general sum of infinite number of terms that word it is there in sequence and series in sequence and series also especially gp and agp it is there so let us say with gp verify with second term by first term value 1 minus p by 2 third term by second term again 1 minus p by 2 so ratio is same it is in gp in gp sum of infinite terms formula is what a by 1 minus a a is first term 1 1 minus common ratio that is 1 minus p by 2 okay now simplification that implies p into lcm is 2 and fraction reverse so 2 by 2 Minus one minus into minus plus p, so that is equal to what two p by one plus p. Two p by one plus p answer for what x wins. Next, let us say y. Y wins. Here x starts the game. X starts the game. Y wins means what? So first round again same. Y wins in the first round, second round, third round like that. Here X starts the game. So Y will win in the first round means first round X fail. Y win. X fail means what? One minus P into one by two plus and again. Y will win in the second round. Second round means first two, first round fail. So that is one minus p x fail. Here y also fail one by two, and again x fail. Y will win. Correct now. So that is one by two, and so on like that. So that is equal to what here? One minus p by two plus. One minus p whole square by four plus so on. Again, we can get GP only. So sum of infinite terms in GP formula a by 
1 minus p by 2 a by 1 minus r common ratio also what yes same only so that is 1 minus p by 2 simplification 1 minus p by 2 lcm is 2 numerator 2 ones are 2 minus 1 plus p 2 to cancel so that is equal to answer is what here i am writing 1 minus p by 1 plus p so here we got answer 1 minus p by 1 plus p but according to question probability of winning the game by both players is equal means what p of x wins is equal to y wins x wins answer is what 2p by 1 plus p okay 2p by 1 plus p okay y wins answer is what 1 minus p by 1 plus p so both sides 1 plus p cancel minus p shift this side 3p is equal to 1. p is equal to what? 1 by 3. So, p is equal to 1 by 3. That is first option correct for this question. Clear? Right. Simple and little bit logical question. Fine. Let us coming to next one more question. Here, a bag contains 4 red, 6 black balls. Two colors are there red and black okay bag contains four red six black for our convenience i am writing you see four red balls six black balls fine a ball is drawn at random from the bag its color is observed okay and this ball along with two additional balls of the same color are written to the back. Stop this one. What is the meaning of this line? Suppose here you see red and black. Only two colors are there. Suppose you are selecting one ball from that back. Just you observe that color. Suppose that ball is red color. That ball is red color. Right. Now ball is red color ball. Na? So you return this ball to again bag. You return. So you put it in that same bag. Along with that ball. Additionally you have to add two more balls of that same color. Understood. So means first if you are select one ball. If that ball is red. If that ball is red. Along with that red ball. You have to add two more red balls. Then you have to keep those all red balls in that bag. Understood? Fine. If now a ball is drawn at random from the bag. After returning to that bag. Now you draw one more ball. Then the probability that this drawn ball is red. Second time. Second time drawn ball is what? Red. That is our question. Here options are given. Four options. Fine. Okay. Let us say here total how many balls? Four plus six. Total ten balls. It is just like a tree structure. You observe this one. Okay. Possibilities. Select ball. That may be red or may be black. Suppose if you are selecting red ball. Selecting red ball one red ball then probability of selecting red ball will be what here how many red balls four total ten two twos are two fives are so probability answer is two by five suppose selecting one black ball then probability will be what probability of selecting black ball is equal to total 6 black balls are there. 6 by 10. 2 3s are 2 5s are. Fine. After that. Okay. Let us see here. Okay. If you are selecting. 
red ball what about our concept if you are selecting red balls means you have to add two more red balls to two more red balls to that bag already four red balls are there if you are adding two more red balls automatically how many red balls six red balls so new bag here six red balls six black balls fine suppose in this case if you are selecting black ball then you have to add two more black balls to that bag so automatically after that four red two more black balls six plus two eight eight black balls so in this bag 12 balls in this bag also what 12 balls now finally you draw which color ball red color ball so from this you draw red ball here 6 by 12 6 by 12 is what 1 by 2 in this case red ball again probability will be 4 by 2 8 plus 4 12 so that is equal to 1 by 3 now actually total probability therefore red ball probability is equal to red ball probability either in this chain or in this chain possibility if you are taking this chain here value 2 by 5 here value 1 by 2 so that is equal to 2 by 5 into 1 by 2 plus if you are going in this direction here probability of selecting black ball 3 by 5 and next time here 1 by 3 total probability so 2 2 gets cancelled 3 3 cancelled so final answer is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 answer is what 2 by 5 clear right so in next session i will explain with some other topics thank you